Karen, this is what we should be eating, but what do we do? I mean, many people out there, they're not eating the raw vegetables that they should be having, ideally. Now, if you can't get vegetables fresh from the produce, the second best way to do it is to have it frozen because mm -hmm. freezing the vegetable keeps the nutrients intact, and that's exactly what we want to do. We want to keep it intact as much as possible because heat actually destroys the nutritional value of the vegetable. Most people out there, when they do get their vegetables, they cook them. Steaming it is a good way to cook your vegetables, or we lightly saute them, and that's good as well. And if we do that, we have to be watchful for oil content, and sometimes we tend to put a little bit too much in there. We get a little right. carried away with the right. oil, and what it does is we tend to take one step forward to, to good health, but we're taking two steps back because it's so fortified with fat, mm -hmm. fats that we really shouldn't be having on right. a daily basis. Right. Um, the other ways that we get our, our vegetables is that we, we have canned vegetables. And this is probably one of the worst ways that we can get our vegetables today. These were out in the sun, getting the nutrients, the minerals that they should be getting. And they're in a can, dormant, after they've been cooked. And so essentially, they're nutrient depleted because they've been heated so high. And then add insult to injury, what we do is when we open it up, we boil them again. Oh my God, right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it, it's just like, I mean... A double whammy. It's a double whammy. Mm -hmm. You're not getting the nutrients. Essentially what you're getting is a lot of fiber. Fiber's not bad, mm -hmm. but you're not getting the phytonutrients that we need. And that's why we're eating vegetables. Hopefully. And that's why... Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, and here, just to give you an example, we have different meals that people should be having on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. This is the way we should be eating. Mm -hmm. But are we? No. We're not. <laughs> no. No, we're not. We're not. Let me show you an example over here. This is a cup of spinach in 1948. Today, when we grow spinach, I want you to guess. Here's the question of the day. How many cups of spinach do you think it would take to be the equivalent in nutritional content, specifically mineral content, to a cup of spinach in 1948? I'll say four. Four. Well, guess what? It's actually seven wow. cups. <laughs> Seven. That's a lot of spinach. Seven. <laughs> All right. No one will eat that. So what does that tell us? Even if we are eating the five servings of fruits and vegetables today, we're not getting near the nutritional value that our grandparents were because our soil gets so depleted of, of its minerals and its vitamins. And what happens? Over the years, we don't enrich the soil with these nutrients. It doesn't rain minerals from the sky. So what happens? The mineral content of our vegetables becomes depleted. So that's out of our control, actually. Exactly.